Fitzwater Town Road and Walsh Road. I enjoy being at that bookstore. Good time back in New Orleans. I'll get on Facebook again if I can. Load them up a few videos. Let them know how nice it is out of Barnes and Noble. Probably a good safe ride home, seems to be. So I got the van really clean today. I can't believe how fast it cleaned off. I hit the uh, cap of the van, the high rise on the van, a few times in the front of it with OxyCleaner. Uh, tried to get it all off with a, a towel on a long scrubbing pole. Couldn't really get it as clean as I wanted to rain most of the day, so I, uh, I repeated the process with um, some windshield or some uh, Windex window clear and really scrubbed off the residue of whatever Aussie cleaner was stuck on there. And the rain got it really shiny and good. Had a lot of water in there anyway uh, on the top. Scrub the, the high rise and the size of the van, the back of the van, and the wheels and tires on the van. It really got clean. And I went out to uh, a couple different food stores and helped my mom get what she needed. And I got some pancakes with a lot of cinnamon on them. Really nice. Had about eight pancakes, eight of them, and I put a lot of cinnamon on them, each one of them. I caked it on there. I poured some Aunt Jemima light syrup on it, put some butter on it, or margarine. I tried to use sugarless, but that is the difference between whether I use no syrup at all or light syrup. 
Most tasteless syrup. Better use light syrup. So that cinnamon's going to fall down anyway. And uh, my blood sugar's almost good. So, I made some tortellinis with tomato sauce. It's kind of uncommon to use that. And, uh, my yogurt, two pounds. Cinnamon and then packed in with ginger. It was a good meal. Uh, didn't have much else for the whole day. It's a good egg omelet for breakfast. Nice to get out to Barnes & Noble in the evening. Read some tests. I'm always surprised when I see those big trucks regulated by DOT, of course, but then their paramedics are uh, regulated by DOT also. That's a good place to regulate things. A lot of motor vehicles that are regulated by DOT and uh, EMTs and the paramedics are regulated by the DOT and firefighters, I think, also. Nurses have their own boards, but it's practically the same thing. Department of Transportation regulates a lot of the caregivers and care <laughs> care workers. I call that a care worker. If you transport a uh, million dollars of freight to some store, or some warehouse, you have to use some care transporting it have to care for the people on the other end to deliver it, deliver it on time. Careful workers, you know. I study all their tests. I'd like to study some more of their theory, but the medical stuff that goes hand in hand with the uh, care workers they serve people by transporting things for them. Good to understand psychiatry and psychology, and nursing and EMT and paramedic. It's all just part of being a good, well-rounded, careful person. Best things to be an actor, though. You know, put on a good comedy show or show people how to relax. It's important. I got up a little late this morning, got on a computer, and just watched other people's videos for a while. It feels good to see that and do that. And I put mine up there. It just reassures me, I guess, so I know what I'm doing. This eBay books again, also. Good to watch an eBay book once in a while, shows you how to sell things. Appreciated it. Got the cat out there running around. New cat, you know, so she came back three times. That's good. Got 
the round machine there, microwave there. Oh, that's neat, man. Um, this shit was thrown out, man. What's in it? What's there, man? The bags. Huh. That's some good shit there, I think, man. Shame they had to leave it. Some people have to. I know if I was moving out of my mom's house to try to give away a lot of things, better to give it away than carry it on your back, you know? That's why I get into trucking, you know? Because at least I'd have a place to live, man. Be careful working, keep a job, and I have a place to live. I already know where a lot of the parks are in the United States. So if I got a couple days off for a week off from time to time, I'd be in my glory. Just go out to some of the parks I know. It's mostly for saving money for school though. I like to study nature and I like to study parks. And I don't really care if I accumulate a lot of worldly possessions in the meantime. I love to sell things, believe me. I'm not sure how to do that just yet. I want to work on it. We're still in the heat wave days right now. I haven't turned max air conditioning on this van. It was about 95 degrees yesterday. I don't know what it was today. Probably a lot less because of the rain, but still hot enough to have most air conditioning on in the house and in the car. So I really love it. Appreciate living around here in Orland, PA. Life's a lot friendlier nowadays. And I'll tell you, YouTube helps out a lot. People don't know who you are sometimes until you extend yourself a friendship through YouTube. It's uh, simply social networking, so they can choose to like you. And hope they don't like you, you know. Hope they don't choose to not like you. That's why I get on there. Just a friendly thing to do, YouTube, you know. I never had so many friends or friendly people around me before I got onto YouTube. It sort of changed my life, I think. It helps out other people. And the more you know, the better it gets. So I'll keep going out to Barnes and Noble. Maybe I'll take a cruise here. Watch Zen Max some more on YouTube. Uh, I'll explain how I find my friends. Good to have friends. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.